Hey guys, I'm just doing a basic review of my guitar. It's an Ibanez X series. Uh, it's from 1990, so it's a bit of a vintage guitar, not much. Um, I like it. It's a very nice guitar. It served, it served me well. It's made out of uh, basswood. Uh, the body's made out of basswood. It has three pickups. Uh, humbucker sung, single humbucker and I really like the humbucker humbucker single humbucker uh, setup it just gives me a lot of option with my tonality as a, and the five position selector switch as well helps the cool thing about this guitar is when you set it to the down position on your selector switch you use your bridge pickup when you set it to the next position you use these two but when you put it to the middle position it doesn't use all three pickups it just uses the single alone that's what I like because you isolate the single pickup and you get more of that sound instead of adding the two humbuckers with it. You don't get to hear that actual just single coil. So they isolated the pickup. This one then does these two and then this one just does the bridge. So I really like that isolated single pickup. Um, you have the tone, master tone and master volume. Uh, you got the um, licensed Floyd Rose uh, floating bridge, not locking. Um, you have the the diamond inlay uh, on a uh, rosewood fretboard, uh, single piece neck. Now the thing with this, this is a funny story, I bought an Ibanez, the first Ibanez guitar I ever bought was an electric acoustic out in BC, uh, British Columbia, Ontario, or British Columbia, Canada, and uh, I had the guitar no longer than a month, maybe a month and a half. It fell over on a carpeted floor while I was in the bath bathtub with my girlfriend. And, uh, it broke. The headstock snapped right off it. You know what I mean? And this is, I paid over $600 for this guitar. Brand new. Didn't even put a new set of strings on it yet. I still had the same set of strings on it when I bought it. And the headstock snapped right off. I swore I'd never buy another Ibanez guitar ever again. And I did. I bought this one. Well, the thing of it was, same thing happened. And guess what? It broke again. But there was a guy at uh, the guitar shop downtown Princess Street, um, Wellington and Clergy. Uh, in Kingston, Ontario, and he did a really good job repairing it. Uh, and it's, it's perfect. He said that'll be just like a weld. It'll be stronger than the wood itself. So it's funny that I bought two Ibanez guitars. The first one had socks snapped off. I swore I'd never buy another one. I bought one. Same thing happened. So that's kind of a funny story. Uh, but this guitar has served me really well. Um, I found no problems with it. The only problem with any nut locking guitars that incorporate the, uh, the six hex screw, uh, or uh, yeah, six hex screw, it, they always strip. So I always have to use a pair of pliers to adjust these usually because, you know, they strip and it's hard to, you know, keep them from not stripping. So, uh, I just use a pair of pliers. Um, so yeah, let's, let's check it out here. Um, this is the bridge pickup. And I'm just going to use mild distortion with this. <laughs> That sounds really nice. Now we'll go with the the bridge and middle pickup, the bridge and single. single this is beautiful I love this single quote because it sounds so great <laughs> Sounds pretty nice. Now we'll go um, middle pickup and neck pickup. Beautiful. Now 
I'll go next pick up. That's a little bit of distortion. for it. Um, I couldn't ask for anything better. The only thing this guitar is missing since it was made in 1990s are 24 frets. Back then they weren't uh, really uh, you know, making guitars with 24 frets that much because they weren't that popular. So that's the only thing it's missing. But this is an all original guitar. Um, it's, it sounds great. The only thing I ever changed was this. Um, it had another uh, speed dial sort of thing like this one. Uh, it has the arch to the bottom. The or the flat top. Now I just added this one just for aesthetics, just to look different. Um, but it's a really nice guitar. It works well, and I would suggest if you could get your hands on an X series. Uh, they were made, I think, from anywhere like in 1986 to 92 or 94, something like that, or 98 or, or uh, 86 to 94 or 88 to 94, I think. So they're back in the late 80s into the 90s. Like I said, this was one from 1990, so it's pretty cool. It's, it's semi-vintage, you know what I mean? But the, it has a really nice feel. Um, it has the maple neck, and then like I say, the rosewood fretboard. 
Uh, I like the, the inlay, the fret inlay. This was original for its time. The white binding, uh, and it's just very nice. It has a contoured body, as you can see. It's contoured out. Um, and yeah, the Floyd Rose, you can adjust it very easily. It's a very nice guitar. Uh, so I hope you liked my review. And if you did, uh, hit me a like. And if you want, subscribe to my channel. I got lots of uh, videos. Uh, this is my first um, review video on any guitar or anything. But uh, just I hope you liked it. And uh, we'll talk to you later.